Hey everybody, I'm Chris Vernon with Motor Carrier HQ. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the basics of the FMCSA portal. And to do that, I'm gonna log into the FMCSA portal for my trucking company, Holland Assets. If you haven't been listening to the podcast about Holland Assets, where I show you the startup process and kind of how I've run the um, trucking company Holland Assets for a year, give it a listen. It's pretty sweet and hopefully helpful. So on to this video. First thing you need to do is get to the right web page. The web address is just portal, P-O-R-T-A-L dot F-M-C-S-A dot D-O-T dot gov. I'm making this video assuming you already have an account. If you don't, you can click here at the center of the page and go through the registration process. It's fairly self-explanatory. From there, if once you've got all registered, you just type in your user ID and password and log in. Now, once you're logged in, I'll just kind of show you some of the basics. We're going to start a little bit over on the left-hand side of the page and go through each one of these blocks. Um, the first block right here shows um, some links that you can click on that are important. Every time I've clicked on them, the link's broken. It doesn't work. You can Google search those things if you need it, like a &I, the SMS safety me measurement system. Um, you can get those through Google, too. Any alerts that you're you might have in the next box, the third box down, correspondence. That's any letter that the FMCSA has sent to you. You can type in a, a set of dates to find anything. Like, for example, if I typed in mine right now, I'd be able to see the notice that I was going to get a new entrant audit, the, the results from that audit, so on and so forth. I've never had anything in the next box, the broadcast messages. So I, I'm not really 100% sure what that is. Um, then going down that center column at the top, Pending account requests, um, that's if you've applied for any authorities or anything like that, it would show up there. Then getting more a little bit into meat and potatoes where things people actually use a little bit. The next big box, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do there. If you expand any one of these boxes, a little arrow, for example, next to USDOT registration, it will show all the information the FMCSA has on your company. The EIN number, company name, address, just that basic information. You can click on any one of those items to find more. The ones in this section that I really want to talk about are the basic safety measurement summary. It's the one that's pulled up right now. It'll show what your basic scores are in each one of those categories. You can see with me, there's nothing there because I'm a new carrier. I haven't had enough inspections or anything else to even have a basic score calculated at this point. One of the other really important things that I want you to look at is this inspection selection system, ISS. This is important because this is what shows the likelihood that you're going to be inspected by a DOT officer. For example, if you get in, pulled into a port to get weighed and they want to look you up, here's what the FMCSA says those port officials should do. So my ISS score right now, you'll notice, is a 70. And the ISS recommendation is optional. There's three categories. The three categories are inspect, optional, and pass. So if the ISS recommendation is inspect, chances are you get pulled in, they're going to inspect your truck. So if you've had a bad history in the past or the DOT has, you know, kind of put a target out on your back for one reason or another, that is going to be inspect. In my situation, again, I haven't had enough data, so they kind of put me in a neutral category. They're not saying, yeah, this guy needs to be inspected, or they're not saying, no, I'll just go ahead and pass this guy. They're saying they're making it optional. So um, I've... I've only received one inspection. I've been going for um, almost 11 months at this point with Holland Assets and only been pulled in for an actual inspection one time. The other one is pass. If you've had good, good um, safety records and your previous inspections have come out relatively well, they're going to have a pass option there and, and chances are if you get pulled into a port or maybe you get pulled over your chances are you're probably not going to be inspected now on the right hand side the public links that's just again kind of same thing as the fmcsa system but other areas that might be important to you um, you can click on those for the, the links. Then the box below that right-hand side, another one that's really important is just this company activity. So 
you can filter this if you click on this block uh, drop down menu right here for the last 24 hours the last week the last month or the last three months because i'm a small company i don't have a whole lot going on with me i'm going to select the last three months hit search and in crashes up here there's nothing in inspections uh, i'm gonna have to do it again three months search again I've had one inspection you can see. So you can find all this information out. You can drive down here into the inspection list. Again, we'll go to the, the three month period, click search, and you'll see a little bit more detail about the one search I had. It happened on the 27th of December. I was the driver. Um, so this is another really important category, especially if you have drivers driving for you, you should come in and search this every, um, at least once a month. And there you can see if, uh, your, one of your trucks has been inspected and a driver hasn't told you about it. You can see the details on it. You can pull a full report, um, really handy. That's kind of the basic things that I find are the most important and most useful with the FMCSA portal. I hope you found this information helpful. As always, if you have any additional questions or if you've got any kind of issue with your DOT compliance, feel free to give us a call at Motor Carrier HQ. Numbers on the screen. Have a great day.